I think we should just start a series, a series of how I only have or how you can only have eight trash cans a year because I usually only have eight trash cans a year and this is how I do it. I built out of leftover lumber from a home from the home build that we had. I built this structure and I labeled all of the bins that I grabbed from, you know, I had a whole bunch of extra bins, so I labeled them. So when I use something, I immediately put it in the bin. This system literally saves me about 45 minutes when it comes to recycle day because we have to take the recycling to the nearest dump or transfer station that they call them up here. Really weird. But for me, I don't have to sit there and go through every single one and look underneath it and figure out where it goes in which bin. I just pop the top, throw it in the bin, throw it in the back of the car and go. Like, I'm not sticking around. I got things to do. So, so this is one way I keep my trash cans down to a bare minimum. So I just got back from the dump and it literally is that easy. I walked it, I threw everything in. Um, I was pretty much in and out and there were still people there that had come after me, but it just pays to be organized. I also, I also, um, take all of, we also take all of our cardboard there. So we don't have to throw our cardboard away. So cardboard, number one, number two, plastics, tins, glass, magazines, um, do not go in the trash can at all. And styrofoam, no styrofoam goes in the trash can either, but I didn't have any of that to take. Okay, now off to my next adventure. Whew, it's gonna be a day. I have a lady that has a big pile of yard debris waiting for me. Um, to go through to see if there's anything that I can use. I love people that are generous and, you know, other people look at it and go, why would I want your trash? People have looked at me and said that, why would I want your trash? And I'm looking at her going, thank you so much. That's so awesome. Because there's some pretty cool stuff in that pile.